Let's talk about some tips on buying land. First of all, you need to know your budget. So make sure that you understand how much cash you on cash you have on hand and if you need to finance or pay cash. If you need to finance, it's typically 15% down on a land loan and it typically has a higher interest rate than a regular residential loan. But you can go out to 30 years on some products. Next tip is location, location, location. I have a lot of clients that want to be close to a city but don't want to pay the price per acre basis. Just remember, anything within three hours of any Metroplex is going to be a higher price per acre than anything farther. The farther you go out, the less you're going to pay in price per acre basis. Property taxes. On land and ranches, you can get ag or what they call wildlife exemption, at least in Texas and other states. And this is, can substantially lower your property taxes by more than 90%. So when you're looking at your budget, make sure if you're shopping for land or a ranch that you find ag or wildlife exempt properties. Utilities. Make sure you check out the utilities. Not all properties out there or land or ranches have utilities or even access to utilities. So it's very important when you buy a property that you review what's available. That means electricity, sewage, yes, you can put septic in, water related to a well or, uh, you know, provided by a municipality or other options. Related to improvements, obviously if you have raw land, you're going to pay way less the price per acre than you would if you have improvements on the property, such as a house, utilities, and other improvements. So based off your budget, if you're using this for recreational property or a permanent property related to living on it, then it's going to be substantially different related to how much acreage you can buy. Topography. You know, a lot of clients want views, a lot of them want valleys, a lot of them want usable land. And depending on what you're going to buy, that can be all affected by topography. So it's very important that you review a map, uh, have your realtor or use a uh, app called Onyx Hunt or Land ID to review the property before purchasing it because it'll tell you everything you want to know related to contour lines or topography on the property and, and how it's usable. When you look at a property, make sure you understand where the floodplain is if there's any. The, if there's more floodplain, the price per acre is going to be lower usually than other properties that are not floodplain ridden. And yes, on floodplain, you can still use a property for grazing um, and hunting and other recreational activ activities or even business like raising cattle or livestock. Related to access to the property, make sure it is deeded meaning that it's not a handshake agreement between two neighbors to go ahead and access a property. A lot of properties now have what they call flagpole lots, which are basically looks like a flagpole going from the county road to the property to ensure there's an always access because you have land that is owned uh, that is uh, part of the access point. When it comes to deeded acres or deeded access, you need to review that and make sure that is in place before purchasing property. Always have a survey on hand or get a new survey to verify the parameters of the property and have the survey company flag each corner so you understand where that where the property lines are. Yes, you can use MapRite or Land ID or Onyx Hunt, but those typically are off three to four feet if minimum. So it's usually better to get the, the boundaries flagged, but also that survey is going to show your easements and that deeded access. Deed restrictions. There's two types of restrictions on a property that is possible. Um, first, if it's a property association or HOA on a property, yes, even with ranches that are, you know, hundreds and hundreds of acres, sometimes I'll see a property association managing roads and the property itself will apply restrictions on that property for certain things. And also make sure that you look at the deed to see if there's any type of deed restrictions on that property. Even though it might not have a property association, it still doesn't mean it doesn't have deed restrictions. And those deed restrictions obviously can be, you can only use bow and arrow in the pro on the property. You can only do X, Y, and Z. You can only have a certain amount of square footage on your property. I've seen that on large acreage tracks. And finally, pricing. 
don't overpay, obviously. Now, when it comes to pricing, I always tell people to pull what has sold in the last six months or even a year related to land because sometimes there's not many comps. But whatever's active doesn't really matter, in my opinion, because what is sold is what's going to be used for a comp. And uh, at least right now, in this 2023 part of the year, I'm seeing some stuff overvalued by 10 to 20%. And uh, that's why some of this stuff is not moving. Yes, there are people still buying property, even though the interest rates are higher, obviously, people are still buying property. So don't overpay. Do your research, get a good realtor, negotiate, and make sure you have all that covered before you purchase a property.